Alright guys, welcome back, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the 100% helicopter spawn. Just a few things to get out of the way before we end up going into doing this. You need to get the Southern San Andreas Super Autos Nagasaki BF400, which you can find right here on this site. So go and buy that. That is the bike you're going to have to use to get this helicopter, and it spawns every single time. The other thing I have to get out of the way is none of your teammates, anybody in the session, can get that first checkpoint or it won't work so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to follow me exactly and uh, what we're going to do is you got to follow this route completely exactly and, and nobody can get that checkpoint um i wasn't I unfortunately didn't clear up some of these things that I should have cleared up in my last video and I apologize for that um, so hopefully this will help you out a lot better because I clarified up on these things that you needed to do so follow this route com exactly how I'm doing it you go straight to the bank and then make the turn you're not getting that checkpoint because nobody can get that checkpoint and you're just gonna go straight through right over to the place by Lester's factory where you use this bike to jump up on top of it and it will spawn a hundred percent of the time and if it doesn't spawn I will show you guys another way if it doesn't spawn how to go around real quick and get it to spawn if it doesn't spawn that first time so and you don't have to be completely quick about it but it's nice to be a little bit um, more on the quicker side of this as you can see me and my friend kind of wrecked a few times coming on our way getting over here but uh, so you have a little bit of time just don't like take too much time or it may despawn um, but you can fix that by doing this other route, which I'll show you guys after I show you the first one. So you're going straight to uh, Lester's, near Lester's factory, that one I showed you where you use the BF400. And uh, you're going to come right to the back side here on this route. And you are going to the uh, stairwell right over here. And then you're going to walk up the stairwell to check to see if it's there. And it will be there because it spawns 100% of the time. Or um, unless one of your teammates already got the checkpoint, which they shouldn't have gotten. Or uh, you didn't take the route exactly how I showed you. So as you can see, the chopper is right up there. You can see the tail of it right there. So I can easily just go in and grab that chopper real quick quick and um and then it it just spawns ever, like literally that quick and now at this point you if you don't know how to do this part i'll quickly go over this part just to show you guys uh how to do this real quick so you're going to take your bike my friend's gonna do it too because he just i don't know he wanted to do it I, he just felt like doing it so he we're gonna do the exact same thing as that so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to back up at the very edge of the highway and you're gonna pop a wheelie since you got this bike, that is why this works because the jump just launches you right on top of it because of this bike. That's why you need this bike. So you're going to come over to these stairs. You're going to come right up the stairs and then right over here. This is where the chopper spawns. And now pretty much just like that, if you know everything else from this point on, now that you have a helicopter, it's all completely easy for you. So you're going to take this helicopter over to the Karuma garage right next to the bank. And you're going to do the same thing that you do with a car where you park this right outside of that garage. You're going to walk in, walk out of the garage, and it will stay there so you can use it to fly away. And you'll see that the exact same helicopter, this is the police helicopter, it says police on the side. And I will show you that this is the exact same helicopter. Everything works completely as you see. And it is 100% working, works 100% of the time. This is literally the best way to do it, and it doesn't take that much time. As long as you take that exact route that I tell you guys. I mess up a little bit here because I was a little bit tired when I did this video, and I kind of overshot it here. But that is exactly how you do it. Just make sure you take that exact route, and uh, your any of your friends don't get that checkpoint. If they get that checkpoint, it will despawn, and you just... Tell them not to get that checkpoint. Just you can't let them get that checkpoint. So yeah, I'm going to do that in case any of you guys haven't seen how to do it before. You're going into this bank or not the bank. You're going into this garage and then just going straight out of it. And that's going to save it in case you didn't know about that yet. That's going to save it. And then one of your friends is going to give you a ride or you can just walk up there. And one of my friends already has the car and the same thing with the car. They just kind of parked it over there. And that's pretty much it. Now we're in the bank part here. I just want to show you a quick little um, cutout right here. If you ever 
end up doing the part where you have to um, take the cops out. Like, if you ever have the job where you have to take the cops out for so they don't end up shooting you, this is a quick, easy way. I just want to show you guys this real quick. Quick, easy way to never get hit ever. So what you're going to do is you're going to do what I just did right here. You're going to throw a sticky bomb onto that back wall. And then when a cop comes up, a cop's going to spawn real quick right over here. When a cop comes up and walks right in front of that door or a little bit before, he is going to explode straight out of the door. Just like that. And he is going to be nowhere near you to possibly even get a chance to hit you. And then all you have to do is just put another sticky bomb on there. And you don't lose any of your sticky bombs because this is a heist. So you're not losing any money using these sticky bombs. Plus, you're not even losing any health. So if you ever have this job when you're in the, um, when you're in the bank, definitely... Uh, do it like this if you don't want to take any sort of damage at all if you're trying to save any of your armor or anything like that so definitely a really good glitch to uh, share with you guys or not really a glitch but definitely a really good hint to uh, help you guys out here with the uh, bank part alright guys I just want to fast forward a little bit right up to the end of the bank here you guys all know the inside of the bank part hopefully um, my friend ended up getting the car I didn't run the car this time um, but uh, if you want to see how to do the car part, I'm not going to put it in this video, like driving it through all of the checkpoints and everything, but I have a lot of live streams that I have the video up. I have a lot of other videos. Pretty much every other video has got it. So if you want to see how to do the driving the car through the whole police area or whatever, go check out one of my other videos. It will be up there if you want to know how to do any of that stuff. So I just want to put this in there just to show you that... Uh, all of this stuff is currently working and it will show you guys the um, the restart part where the uh, chopper is there just to uh, prove to you guys that it's still there everything is working um, and show you guys 100% this is all working so there it is there's my friend just died and then you guys are going to zoom in right on to it coming back down and you'll see the chopper is still there because I did that uh, walk in walk out of the garage that's why it's still there and that's why that's how you can save a car it has to be it can't be a personal one if you're doing the car part but you do the same exact thing as you do with the chopper and you can just drive it right to the bank and get out and you're and it will stay there so here it is I'm zooming in to the bike part and the chopper is right there you can see it as you zoom in. That's how you know the chopper's right there. There it is, that white little thing in the middle of that street there, and it's right there behind it as well. Also, another quick thing that I want to share with you guys, just in case, another hints, precaution, anything that you guys could potentially end up doing, whoever is going to blow up the bikes, there's some chance that they could possibly blow themselves up and you will lose the chopper. Um, they, You only lose the chopper if you actually get inside of the chopper. So if uh if they d blow themselves up and the bikes and you're inside the chopper the chopper goes away but if you're not inside the chopper and he kills himself then the chopper will stay there so don't go in the chopper until all of the bikes are exploded and then you're good and then i want to quickly fast forward up past the uh whole flying part up to a certain other part to show you guys another quick uh, part that you guys might not know and here's the part right up here. I skipped all the way over till we got over to the um, the water part here and uh, Instead of taking the checkpoints way if you want to get all the checkpoints What you have to do is you just go under this bridge Close to this side over here and you just fly straight up this mountain over here And what this is going to do is it's going to get everybody's checkpoint and you won't even have to uh you won't even have to get any of those checkpoints that you could possibly lose money on where uh, the cops could be shooting you. Um, unfortunately, it just says get in the dinghy for me. It's a little bit glitchy, but the only ones that will still be there are both of the checkpoints on eat, on uh, the bridge over here. So if it just says get in the dinghy, just quickly go over, get this checkpoint that's invisible on this side of the bridge, and then quickly go and get the last checkpoint over on top of there even though it doesn't spawn for me but it spawns for a few of the other people because it's a little bit glitchy but just like that everybody has their checkpoint the cops are off of you and you've done it a lot quicker and a lot easier for the helicopter part and it saves a lot more time so um 
Definitely use that if you don't want to end up losing a little bit of money going for that one checkpoint near the uh, tunnel there because um, I know that one's pretty hard. And then the final thing that I want to share with you guys is the cutout glitch, which I've shared in all of my other videos. But just in case, because you guys are tuning into this video, um, I'm just going to share it with you one more time real quick. I am not the host in this, so I'm not the one that is closing my application, a.k.a. cutting out. Um, the host is sitting in the back. You want to make sure the host is in the back, also with the money, and then whoever's left can just shit, uh, sit in shotgun. So that's the uh, most ideal way to do it. So he's he's all doing it. I'm explaining to him exactly how to do it um, through here. I'm telling him when to cut out. So what you're going to want to do if you're driving the boat, if you're taking the position of driving the boat, you're not the host or the person with the money, you just drive it straight through right here and you cut out once or you close your application you hit the ok button when your boat fully crosses that bridge it has to be at least fully cross that bridge or a second after so make sure your boat is completely across that bridge and that's when you close your application and that's when you've done it right and this I, we've done it right I tell them I told them exactly what I'm telling you here when to cut out and we did it right there's the cutscene so You'll do it right every single time. The one last part of the thing that I have not explained to you guys um, in this video, at least I've explained it to a, in a, a few other videos. There's one more part. It's not just ending there. You have to get the brightness screen up when you start up your game the next time. If you were the host and cut out, you have to get the brightness screen to come up. Otherwise, you will lose the heist after two attempts. And it's happened to so many people. It's happened to people that were in this lobby as well that I was helping out as well. And the reason being is because they didn't get their uh, brightness screen up. I've done this 40 times or so, something like that. Never have lost it because you just have to get that brightness screen up. So how you do that is... When you start up the game, you just tap L1, R1 back and forth until you get to the uh, the brightness screen. You will know if uh, you will know if you get to the brightness screen because one, it will pop up, and if you didn't get to the brightness screen, it will say loading online or loading story mode, and then that means you missed it. And if you miss it, that's completely fine. Close your application, restart your application, and go at it again. L1, R1 back and forth, and you'll be doing it for maybe a minute or two. But uh, get that brightness screen up, and it will basically delete your game save sort of uh, in a way. I don't know how to necessarily explain it, but it gets around the patch that Rockstar made to stop people from doing this heist glitch or doing the cutout part because they know a lot of people do it. But that's how you get around it, and always keep your heist. So I hope this helps everybody out. Um, the last thing I was going to show you guys real quick is the um, the final way if the chopper does not spawn when you go there the first time maybe if you don't take or if you took too long or you didn't uh, or it just didn't spawn for some reason when you went up on top of that uh, on, on top of the stairs there um, I will show you guys how to get it to spawn if it doesn't spawn that one time all right, guys, I'm just showing you guys this here in free mode. We're right here at the stairs to go up on top to look for the chopper. So this is the route you would take with that bike or where whatever you're at in the uh, thing. You're probably on, on the bike. So you're just going to go straight down here. You're going to take a left right here. You're going to go down here. You're going to take the, the next left right over here and drive down there and then take another left right up here. And then finally, take one more left at the end of this street up here and then you'll be met up right back at the uh, stairs and then you go up and it will spawn there so um, just make sure if it doesn't spawn and you just don't know what is going on that is how you do it and that will get it to spawn so I really hope this helps you guys uh, make sure to comment like subscribe if you guys want more and I will see you guys in the next video in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through